Welcome back to our makeshift kitchen. It's now time for our cooking segment. Joining us this morning from Lone Star Physiques is Stephanie McGrew. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. So what's on the menu this morning? Today is double chocolate chip protein peanut butter cups. Wow. Right. So this is a great healthy dessert alternative because it cuts down on the sugar, it cuts down on the carbs, and it increases the amount of protein that you're getting with the snack. And you still right. get chocolate. And you still get chocolate. And, and peanut, and butter. peanut and, butter. Yep, we had to yeah, throw that what, in for Troy. Come on now. Yes. So what is our, let's go through the ingredients first. Yes, so this is actually a pretty simple recipe that doesn't require a whole lot. You're gonna use, um, I like to use dark chocolate because that's, it's a little bit healthier for you, but you can use some as sweet, you can use any other kind of um, chocolate chips. I use PB2, and this can be found at both Hy-Vee and Walmart. Mm -hmm. um, today I use the chocolate because we're doing a double chocolate, but you can use the regular peanut butter as well. And it's just a great alternative because it cuts down on the fat and the calories because it's a powdered form of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so then I'm using Advocare Protein Whey, which um, you can get at my studio. I sell this um, to my clients, um, or you can look at it online. Um, but you can use any other protein. Um, just you have to be careful with the ratio of protein that you mix it with because each protein mixes differently. Mm -hmm. And then um, you're going to want to use the all natural peanut butter. Um, that's just because the all natural peanut butter has less sugar in it and it's less processed. So when you look at the back, you want to make sure it pretty much just says peanut butter and salt. And then you're going to mm -hmm. use the almond milk. Wonderful. So now you said the all natural for the peanut butter is that because it's any easier than when you're cooking and you're going through the process? Or? Somewhat, and it's healthier. Okay. It's just a healthier alternative. As you can tell, I, I don't do the whole healthy. <laughs> so this is new to me, so I'm gonna have to go out and buy new stuff. So yes. what's our first step here? So your first step is you're gonna wanna mix um, about, you're gonna wanna melt about a cup of the um, chocolate. And what you're gonna do is put that in a saucepan, low, low heat, and you're gonna slowly mix that up. Mm -hmm. When you get it melted, you're gonna want to put about just a small layer of chocolate in, and I say use the silicone, um, I guess these are muffins. They're yeah, little muffin, muffin. Yeah, little, little yeah. muffin. Yeah. Cups. So you want to yeah. make sure to use these because they peel a lot easier. Yeah, you used those last week. Those are yeah. good. And then, you, or you can use the wax one. These are a little bit more expensive, but I like these because these are washable so you can keep reusing them. Great. So then whenever you have that, you're going to put them um, over the muffins, and then you're going to stick these in the freezer for about 15 minutes. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to mix about two tablespoons of whatever protein that you decide to use. Okay. You're also going to mix two tablespoons of the natural peanut butter. I like how that's much easier to get out too. Yes, it is. <laughs> and you're also going to do about a fourth of a cup of the powdered peanut butter. So what you're going to do is you're going to mix all of those in a bowl and you're going to dollop about a tablespoon of the mixture inside the actual cup right in the middle. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to make a layer, you want to make sure it's just a little round dollop right on top. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the other melted chocolate and you're going to put it over the actual peanut butter dollop. Like a little sandwich. Like a little oh, sandwich. Okay. So it's going to encase it and then you're going to just stick that in the freezer and you're going to wait about 30, 45 minutes because you want to make sure that it's frozen so that way it makes a perfect little Protein a little, peanut butter. A little cookie almost. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, right. usually do you just pop them out of the little silicone yep. thing and you eat it that way or do and you And I use can just spoon? show you an example. So what you, the great oh. thing about the silicone is that whenever you peel it back, the yes. chocolate just pretty much falls right off of it. Oh, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. It even looks like an actual peanut butter right. cup. Mm -hmm. This exactly. is perfect. Exactly. So that's why you really want to use these because it's a little bit easier and a little mess free and a little bit more convenient. All right, wonderful. So we are gonna go ahead, mix these up, put them in the freezer, and we'll come yes. back. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are in our makeshift kitchen with Stephanie McGrew, who is part of Lone Star Physiques. And we just got done making, let me see if I can get it right, double chocolate, peanut butter, protein cups. Yes. Wonderful, yes. beautiful, and they look great. They're beautiful. Yes. So recap what we just did. Yes, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the chocolate chips and you're going to lightly melt them in a sauce pot, in a saucepan. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to coat them into a silicone muffin container. You're gonna mix your PB2, your peanut butter, your protein, and you're gonna wanna use the vanilla, the almond milk to just to kind of, you want it to make it be a little thick, like the consistency of peanut butter. So you're okay. just gonna slowly add it and mix it together. And then you're going to make a small dollop, about a, a little less than a tablespoon's worth, in the middle of your um, original base layer of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to put more chocolate on top of it, stick it in the freezer, 
and then you're gonna have a delicious chocolate protein. Wonderful, and it's almost like a sandwich when you think about it with the chocolate and then the peanut butter and then more chocolate, but when it evens out, it looks exactly like a peanut butter cup mm -hmm. that you'd find at the store. Yes. Perfect, so and let's go summertime, ahead and summertime, something easy the kids can help out with. And Absolutely. Yes, and it's just, you just pop you it You just back. pop them right out. Yep. Oh, I love that. And as you can see, it's like, it looks like a regular Reese's peanut looks butter cup. Looks legit, cup. huh? Great. It does. <laughs> I, and I always, whenever I have the unhealthy peanut butter cups, I always put them in the in the fridge, make them nice and cold, so it's just how I like them. All right, I'll let you guys try them. Let me know how it is so that I can toss it back without a mouthful of peanut mm -hmm. butter. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All That's right, good. very excited. Well, thank you so much for joining me You're this welcome. morning. <laughs>